Hi boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Oliver. I am a T1 teacher at New Albany School, but will soon be your technology teacher. Last year I read a book called But No Elephants, which was a silly story about an elephant and, and pets that she did not want in her house, but ended up liking. This year I'm reading a book called Strictly No Elephants, which is a nice story of friendship, but it would be interesting since the titles are so similar for you to go back and compare them and see what was the same and what was different. Look forward to reading with you. Strictly No Elephants, written by Lisa Manchev. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him over the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. Strictly no elephants. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do, brave the scary things for you. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me, because that's what friends do, never leave anyone behind. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So we paint our own sign. All are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Because that's what friends do. The end.